Hello, my name is Tracy Allen and I want to welcome you to Cooking with Some Friends. Hello, welcome to Cooking with some friends. I have help in the kitchen. Hey, mm -hmm. hi. Can you say hi, Evelyn? <laughs> she doesn't perform. Yeah. <laughs> um, Brian came and brought the kids today, and we are going to grill, but we're also going to make some brownie puppy chow. And Josh is going to help do that. Um, but we're going to start with the the start the part that goes on the stove. What what? How high is the heat? Is it low so it doesn't burn? Yeah. Yes. Because so, if you put, sometimes if you put chocolate too high, it might burn. It might, yes. So in the pan, we have um, a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, correct? Yes. A half a cup of peanut butter and a half a cup of butter that we're going to melt to bu melt together. Although Josh is busy eating some of the other stuff. <laughs> Creamy peanut butter, not chunky. Yes. Um, and we're going to cook that till it melts and then we're going to add some vanilla to it and then this will go over our nine cups of rice checks. Um, Let me hold this. <laughs> <laughs> our nine cups of rice checks, which is basically a whole box of rice checks. Um, okay, so when daddy gets that in there, we're going to put then, we're going to put powdered sugar in both of our bags. Is this powdered sugar? Yes, that's powdered sugar. With our onions? So let's see if we can make a mess with this, okay? Are you going to split it like a half mess? and half? Yes. A so mess. Oh, I can make a mess. I want you to dump a little bit. No, not with your hands. Just let's dump. Let's about, about half, half of, of it, it. Not the whole thing. In that bag. Whatever you spill, you have okay. to lick off the counter. <laughs> He's teasing. And then half of it in this one. You want to dump it? Oh, let me get a hold of it's that. It's probably all of it. Yep, because... it's the rest of it. So dump that in. That was easy. Good job. Okay, so when Daddy's done with the mixture, mm -hmm. the chocolate mixture, then he, he's going to dump that over the cereal and mix it in, and then we're going to split the cereal into both the bags and shake it up really well. Oh, that's not... <laughs> You can do the shaking, can't you? Okay. And then we're going to spread that out on parchment paper to cool. What? Is there don't. Yeah. That burner's hot, okay? Is there one? Okay, so we'll come back once we get the chocolate melted. Josh, what do you usually use powdered sugar for? Strawberries. You like it on your strawberries? <laughs> I do have some strawberries. He likes to dip them in the powdered sugar. I want some. Okay, the chocolate is melted and peanut butter and butter. And now, Josh, can you set the bowl right there on that orange thing? Right here. Yes, yeah, sure. Now we're going to dump it over the cereal. Yeah. But make sure you don't put yeah. your hand over here because yeah. that's hot, okay? And don't touch Yours the has a little pour spell yeah. on it. Gonna mix that all in, and then that's gonna go in this. We're gonna divide it between the two Ziploc bags that Josh put the powdered sugar in. Watch Josh, the pan, watch babe. the pan. It's hot. You wanna reach in there and stir that with your hands? No. <laughs> that would be no, really it's hot. hot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. That would really hurt. Yes. All right. Do you like puppy chow? I don't know we've ever had it. Really? We don't eat a lot of puppy chow. This is very satisfying. Very yeah. satisfying. <laughs> Come on, check the cereal. Doesn't look like it's going to be enough chocolate to cover I always this. think that with puppy chow, but... If you don't want it yeah, you don't to want cover. Yeah, you don't because then the powdered sugar doesn't stick. Stir this with too much force either, though, because you break, break the all the cereal. cereal up. And then you're left with the crumbs at the bottom, which is the worst part. Yeah, especially with powdered sugar on it, because then it almost chokes you. I think you for sure broke some. Everybody's a critic. <laughs> I think that's enough. No, we want to make sure it's all covered. Because uh, if it's not, if it doesn't have chocolate on it, then the 
powdered, powdered sugar. sugar doesn't stick. Well, that one doesn't have a lot. Okay. That one individual piece, huh? <laughs> So Josh, of the things we're going to put in here after this pools, which ones are your, hold on, which ones are your favorite? The goldfish pretzels, the peanut oh, butter M&M's, the chocolate chips, or the white chocolate chips? I like this and the white chips. You like the white chocolate chips? Your mom's would be the peanut butter M&M's. Yeah. She loves peanut butter M&M's. I'm just okay. mixing this up. Now we're going to split it between the two bags and shake it up. Ooh, can I do it? Yeah, I'm going to try that. Once he gets it in there, then we, you can shake it Is up. Is that okay? video so long? What, huh? Is that video? Yeah, you're going to be a YouTube star. Again. Did you watch the other one, YouTube? Has he been in one? Yeah. You made corn dogs, remember? Oh, yeah. Yay. Okay. need a bigger spoon. Yeah. Baby shark. I mean, I guess I could have just dumped it, but. Baby shark. Baby shark. Is acting catching up? Oh! Gotcha! That was hard. Is that better? Oh, yeah. What do you think, Mom? That's probably close About one more? Yeah. All right, I'm going to seal this up, Josh, and you're going to shake it. There, shake it as hard as you can. Turn it upside down, all around. Get all that powdered sugar on the bottom to go all over the cereal. And that's why we got to make sure it seals really well. Yeah, otherwise you'll have it on the floor. Okay. Don't up. smash it. Shake it. Upside down. Yeah, you can. Yeah, like it. Let me try. Okay. okay. You finish. You do the rest of it. And then he'll give you the other. One. And we're gonna do that with the second one. Okay. Okay. We lost Josh. <laughs> cousins came. Yeah, nice. cousins came, so he got preoccupied. So our cereal with chocolate on it is cooled, and so now we're going to add the other stuff in. So Brian's going to add in um, a cup of chocolate chips and a cup of white chocolate chips that are mixed together. Um, a cup of pretzels and a cup of peanut M&M's. Peanut butter. Peanut butter, peanut butter M&M's, peanut not butter peanut. M &Ms. Very good. And the last thing. Um, okay, you go outside. Some brownie chunks. Shut the door. Shut the door. Okay. You can go out in a minute, baby. Um, some brownie chunks, and we chose the easy way out. And um, we Emma. bought cosmic Emma. brownies. Emma, you want a piece of brownie? We bought cosmic brownies and cut those up, but you could make your own brownies and cut those into bite-sized pieces. So once he gets these in, we're gonna mix this up. And when you're ready to store it, it needs to be stored in an airtight container. And that is our brownie puppy chow. Papa. Yeah. Is that yummy? Hello and happy holidays. Merry Christmas to um, all of you um, and welcome to Cooking with Some Friends. I'm still in the process. We've made several different kinds of candy um, for the holidays and one of them that we all like are Oreo truffles and they are so simple. And I explained this when I made the peanut butter truffles. I mix a combination of almond bark and semi-sweet chocolate chips and on these, I like to put sprinkles on them, or sometimes I'll even melt a little bit of white almond bark or white chocolate and drizzle that over um, the top of the Oreo truffles to differentiate them from the peanut butter truffles because of peanut allergies. But anyway, I've taken an eight ounce block of cream cheese and I've mixed that up. And I've also taken a 16 ounce package of Oreos and I've crushed those up. And so I'm going to stir these two together, mix them together with my mixer. And then I'm going to um, go ahead and roll these into about one inch balls. And I'm going to let those chill. 
Um, so that's the process. Once they're done chilling, I can take them out, dip them in the almond bark, put the sprinkles or the other chocolate on it, and then store those in an airtight container. And these can be frozen. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and add my crushed Oreos. And if you are short the whole 16 ounce package because you got into those, it'll still be okay, as long as you're not too short. it about an inch or so and I'll roll these out put them in an airtight container refrigerate them and then they'll be ready to dip in chocolate in about an hour okay, we're back to finish up our Oreo truffles this morning and I you can leave them in the refrigerator for an hour or like I sometimes do if I get busy as long as they're tightly covered you can do it overnight and that's what I did um, <coughs> excuse me I also like for the chocolate mixture, I like to mix half chocolate chips and um, half chocolate almond bark, and that way they set up a little bit nicer. And you can use regular size chocolate chips. I use the minis, but I do like to use semi-sweet. Um, so now all you have to do, and I've got some parchment out, and I melted those cho two chocolates together, and you wanna do that in intervals of about 30 seconds and stir between each one, um, just so it doesn't seize up on you. So then I just dip it in, use my two forks to remove it, set it on my parchment. And I usually do a couple at a time, through actually three or four. And then I like to put sprinkles on, but again, I do this mostly because, well, one, I like the looks of it, um, but the other reason being that my grandchildren who are allergic to peanut butter um, know these are okay for them to go for when they're looking for candy. So I'm gonna complete um, all of these Oreo truffles, put them on, sprinkle them, and let them set. Thanks for joining us for this session of Cooking with Some Friends. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And find us on Facebook at Cooking with Some Friends.